What is up guys? It's Detrucci here back with another reaction video for the NFL and this time we're doing Joe Montana who I believe is the comeback kid. I've done a little tiny tiny bit of research on him and he has he played for the San Francisco 69ers and he also played for the Kansas City Chiefs I think. Uh, this was a recommendation from Twitter, so thank you for that, and let's get into it. Also, uh, shout out to Joseph Vincent for his video here. In recent years, a football team that plays in the city by the day has oh. been fogged in. Before I start, uh, another thing I know is that this is a generation previous to the Tom Brady generation and so I have a feeling that a lot of the videos are gonna be quite bad quality like the clips just because this is like 80s early 90s this is this is really before the modern era of like televised sport and all that stuff so expect some bad quality but we'll, we'll try and break it down as we go along still and Hopefully it's not too bad, but I'm excited. Let's see. Let's see Joe Montana. But this year, the skies have brightened. The first time I met Joe Montana, he got long blonde hair and he's got a Fu Manchu, just tiny little legs. Fu Manchu. One of the things that sticks out in my mind, how cool Joe Montana was under pressure. Mm. Accuracy. Accuracy. Probably the quarterback's best trait is accuracy from what I've seen. Hmm. Okay, so he's playing for the 49ers here. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's a touchdown! Really? Oh, so he got tackled after, anyway. The regular season's over. We've got home field advantage. We've gone from 2 and 14 to 6 and 10 to suddenly 13 and 3. Are they celebrating winning the Super Bowl or are they celebrating getting into it? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Let's, let's, move, let's move my mouse out of the way. Ooh, this guy's taking some hits. This to be a quarterback. America's team, 89 yards to win the game. Dallas 27. San Francisco 21. Oh my god, he needs seven points when he walks on the field, to win. It's like... I don't know how many points a touchdown is. On the chest. You hear the analogy all the time that he's given about a, you know, sort of a quiet killer, a quiet assassin. Who is this guy, Montana? He sounds like a leader, huh? Ooh. Oh, nice throw. Like Clint Eastwood, didn't have to say a lie. I think I, that's the thing with a lot of leaders is they don't have to say anything. They just have this presence about them. And I can already tell from this video that Joe Montana is a very accurate, focused minded person. And it sounds like he brought that to these teams that he was playing with. I think that's that's one of the perfect leadership qualities is to to not be phased by what's going on around you and just focus on, on the job at hand. But who knows? Let's so. we'll see more. Yeah, the quality of the videos is a bit interesting, but it's not too bad for the 80s. Ooh, uh, that was a good catch. The Clark guy. Good catch. Oh, but that's that means that he's won from the twenty-one points. 
Super Bowl 26? Pretty much in the Super Bowl no, that's Super Bowl 16. Most people in San Francisco think that professional football was invented in 1981. <laughs> that's right. Professional football was not invented until after San Francisco won the Super Bowl. Said by every single person in San Francisco. There was football before that? I think that was like child's play. Different about the bigger stage for a guy like you. Yeah. You're afraid to have the ball in your hand. And you're hoping that the defense has to win, and you're not, you don't have. He's, 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 what Joe Montana he's talking about what I'm talking about. Four for four. So he didn't actually lose any, which means he's undefeated in the world of Super Bowls. He's literally the Floyd Mayweather of American football Super Bowls. The biggest game, the biggest crowd of reporters was around Joe Montana. Question there. Is Montana in any way jealous of Dolphin quarterback Dan Marino? The number one reason he's Jordan. Why would he be jealous? Undefeated. Again, a play out by Montana. Undefeated. He won three MVPs and he should have won four. He won three and he should have won four? Oh. Who is he talking about? I like that he's running into the because the touchdowns. We never saw Brady do that. Four for four. Undefeated in the biggest moments. His performance, his level of play, his call, his stabilizing that. Mm -hmm. From Notre Dame, two this guy is like radiation of let's get the job done. That's what I'm getting from this. Joe Joe why was he so unique what made you Joe so cool and chill when the whoa 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 check out this guy right here with the shades what's all about men in black style stuff going on uh, the hottest because he's a calm he's a leader I think the biggest thing was Joe was the calmest and the best. There we go. <laughs> See? Everybody's really nervous. Last drive of the yeah. day to go down to score to, to beat Cincinnati in the Super Bowl. And it's a TV timeout, and Joe's just looking around and trying to keep everybody calm. And he just says, look over there. That's John Candy. <laughs> and, you know, Harris is like, what the hell, Joe? He's like John Candy out of the stands. Joe Montana. Over the middle. It's Keeping it real. Keep it real. Rises when he needs to. I love it. Is he's like your modern day underdog, but at the same time, he's like the best leader on the pitch. Sometimes you just have those big players, you know. It's the same with uh, European football. You have players that play in the lower leagues or they'll play league football and they'll be consistent. They'll be good. Like they're top players, but they're, they're playing okay. But then as soon as it comes to like the big matches, the real proper big team matches, that's when these players rise up and shine. And I think that's kind of the epitome of what Joe Montana is. He's a big player for the big moments. And it sounds like he's just consistent throughout, no matter which level he's playing at. And I think the players around him are going to feel that too, definitely. But watching Joe in real time, there was a calm, there was a steadiness that he had. Right to the left. Right down to the middle of the play. And Barker. There'll be no quarterback. That will be as great as Joe Montana from that perspective. Yeah. Montana to right. He's out. Oh. And Ray Horton. Horton made a brilliant play to get it down. 11 catches, 216 yards. Is there another one? And he's to the 10. The accuracy. 
He's like, he's slowly chipping away at the, the enemy team, eh? There's nothing they can do about it. His passes are so accurate. That was his attitude. It's not over until I win. Wes Brown. Wes Brown speaking. Got him. Woo. That's a, I guess that's another Super Bowl win, huh? Oh, that's a fro. That's a fro. Maybe he can throw high. Never threw an interception in a Super Bowl. Four times a Super Bowl champ. Three times. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Never. He just said never threw an interception in a Super Bowl. That means in four matches where he played in the Super Bowl, he never once threw and got caught out by the opposition. That is incredible. That's that's like literally perfect quarterback play. Wow. Four, four and oh in Super Bowls, three MVPs. He just rises when he needs to. Wow. Ooh. 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 Crushed. Oh, he got injured? Oh, no. Officially announced that Joe Montana and his lovely wife Jennifer are officially Kansas City Chiefs. He had great training. Oh, did he get injured and then switch to the, the Kansas? Oh. Joe went out through three touchdown passes the first half. It was extraordinary. We said, you know, we really got something going here. That's awesome, though. And when he came on the field, uh, things began to happen. So he's saying that uh, he switched teams. He got injured. He switched teams. And they didn't really know what to expect because he's kind of old and he's, uh, he's had surgeries. And what's happened is they started playing their first match and suddenly there's this calmness about them. And they can feel the presence of Joe Montana being a leader that he is. Just things started to happen and the team just started doing like really well. So well that they just can't believe what's happening. That's what I'm getting at this. Like, what a, what a way to come back. To have to fight for two surgeries is as heartbreaking for any athlete. Divisional playoff. Oh, they're trying to beat him up. Thirteen and seven. Okay. So he needs seven points again. That was so nice. They would get to the point where the players on his team were on the sideline. If you watch them, they knew he was going to do it. Get up! And Quit laying around! Knew he was going to do it. And where it becomes the ultimate <coughs> is when the Perfect. other team knows he's going to do it. Yes! Woo! Oh, I love that celebration. It's awesome. Heartbreak. The heartbreak. Chiefs 28. Oilers 20. Oh, the heartbreak. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Wait, is this is this Joe right here? I know you're coming. He's Joe Montana. He's kind of got an open invitation. I hope it's not awkward between you two. Awkward? Why would it be awkward? <laughs> Wait, who's this guy? Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Maybe you guys can let me know. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, to review kind of what just happened, I think that Joe and the other person I've seen who is Tom Brady, I think they're completely different quarterbacks. 
in two different generations that are both legendary in their own separate kind of way. I don't think you can compare one to the other. I think they're. Uh, it, it looked like Brady's kind of like the all about the high flying. He's uh, he just makes stuff happen. And it looks like Joe is the equivalent of the ultimate leader. He's just calm. He's present, and he's accurate. He's making sure that plays are moving forward. And the guy said he's never miss. He's never had an interception in a super bowl that has to tell you everything you need to know i don't know which one's better though i don't think you can really call them better i know three teams now i know the new england patriots the san francisco 69ers and i know the kansas kansas city chiefs <laughs> i keep thinking of the kaiser chiefs but I'll, I'll get it uh i think i want next time i want to watch maybe something new Maybe from like recent years, like 2019 down to like 2015 or something. Something that's got good quality so I can watch the gameplay play out. Uh, I've seen a lot of throwing and a lot of catches and like winning winning trophies and stuff. But I want to see the actual game itself. I want to d- dive into learning how the game is played on a regular daily basis. And so maybe... I don't think I'll do a quarterback next. I might do like an attacker or something just to get a different perspective on the game. And I'd like to have it as like a good quality video so that I can see what's actually happening and break that down. But guys, if you like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and give this video a thumbs up. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.